What's up everyone, Sam here and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be designing a really cool streetwear t-shirt graphic all inside Photoshop. There's definitely some useful tips in this video guys, so I hope you can learn from it and take away something that will help your own designs. Let's get into it. So after waiting about half hour for Photoshop to get booted up, we can finally get started. So the canvas size I'm using for this tutorial is 15 by 18 inches at 300 dpi. So right now I'm just sorting out the fonts that I'm going to be using in the design, which is Wild Wells. It's a free font that's uh, for personal and commercial use, so that's really handy. Once I'm happy with the size of the type, I'm going to duplicate it and take out all the fill of one of them and apply stroke. That's going to give us the outline text. Make sure you click the position tab and apply it on the inside. Otherwise, you'll be making the outline text bigger than the filled text at the top and it will make it a job to line up. Once this is done, we can start duplicating all the outline text and building that wall that you see sitting behind the butterfly. So here's the stock image of the butterfly we're going to be using. Uh, I recommend using Pexels to find really good stock images if you don't have something like Envato Elements. Uh, I believe I got this one from Envato Elements, but any butterfly picture will do. Luckily, this one's on a white background, which is going to make it really easy to cut out. So as you can see, I used Photoshop's remove background button, which must be quite new because I had no idea it was actually there. And it did quite a good job actually, apart from a few white bits, which we're gonna clean up. So now that the butterfly is positioned nicely, we're gonna go ahead and convert it to a smart object and then head up to filter and then filter gallery so we can start applying some effects. The reason why we convert the butterfly into a smart object first is so that any effects we do apply are applied in a non-destructive way, meaning that we can go back at any time and change the effect. The filters we're using are torn edges and grain, which work really, really well at giving an image that really grungy look, which is perfect for this. The next thing we're gonna to add to the butterfly is a gradient map and we're gonna apply a clipping mask to it so it just affects the butterfly, otherwise the gradient map will affect everything beneath it. And then we're gonna choose a gradient map that we like. I think in the end I settle on a orange one, which I think works really, really well with this design. So now I'm going to open up a levels adjustment layer and I'm going to make the blacks on the butterfly much darker so they match the actual black background that we have and then adjust the mid-tones because we made the orange a bit too dark. What we're going to do now is take out the black portions of the butterfly so it's transparent so any so it's only the orange basically that stays and any black portions of the design will be made up by the background so in order to do that we're going to group everything together into a smart object Go to blending options and down to the this layer slider and move it down slightly. And this is going to take out all the blacks from the butterfly. I'm also going to add a stroke to the butterfly just to bring back some of that shape that we've lost from all the grunge effects. As you can see though, now we're left with a problem that the text can be seen through the butterfly. So now we're gonna to have to delete that back portion of the text. So the butterfly looks as it did previously, however, now it's transparent for printing. To do this, we're going to select every outline text and convert it to a smart object, which is also going to merge all the layers together. Next, we're going to hold control and click the thumbnail of the butterfly layer, which is going to select the outline. Now select the outline text layer, which we just made, invert the selection and click on apply a layer mask. Now we've removed the text from behind the butterfly, so it looks basically the same as before, except now it's transparent for printing. Now we're just gonna add the bottom text. The font we're using for this is called Lightsaber. So now we're gonna set the butterfly on fire with some stock photos of fire that I found from DeviantArt. Uh, they are free for commercial use as well, which is also very handy. Uh, so the reason I actually wanted quite a lot of black still left in the butterfly is because I wanted it to look a bit crispy, like it was actually on fire. To make fire that's on a black background transparent, all you have to do is change the blend mode to screen. Now 
Now we're going to select both the fire lays and convert them to a smart object and change the blend mode back to screen. Next we're going to apply a cutout effect from the filter gallery which makes the flames look a little less realistic so they sit better with the butterfly. All we have to do now is apply some texture to the design so it looks more grungy. To do that we're going to select every layer apart from the background and group them together. Now apply a layer mask to the group because we're going to actually put the texture inside the layer mask. You'll see why in just a moment. Now open up your chosen texture, select it by holding control and then copy it. Now we're going to go back to our design and click the layer mask thumbnail while holding alt. This is going to bring you inside the layer mask. From here we just paste the texture into the layer mask and come back out by doing alt click again. That's the finished design guys, all we've got to do now is mock it up on a t-shirt and see how it looks. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on merch design and I'll catch you next time.